Hi VC, back again for another update. I had a day of work yesterday and I went hit the charity shops locally to see what I could find. I try and do it about once a month. So yeah, picked up some nice things actually this time. So this is the first off. This is Japan with night water, seven inch single, which is a nice find. These are about 50p for these. The alarm, Spirit 76. I saw buy a long video show an alarm album and so that sort of sparked my sort of memory of interested in alarm so I saw that I had to grab it. Next one, I hope you can see it. This is the Who and the Seeker. It's the wrong cover. They all seem to swap them over in the charity shops for some reason. And <coughs> this has got a nice one. This is the Walker Brothers. The sun ain't gonna shine anymore. So uh, that's all the seven inch singles I picked up, like I said, 50 feet, so not bad. I picked up a couple of CDs as well. This is one of the strangest ones I've seen. This is Metallica and it's called Best Ballads and it's a double CD. I've never heard of it, I've never seen it before. I don't know if anybody knows anything on it. It's actually got the Virgin sign on the, on the back down the bottom here. So, I don't know, I don't, as far as I know, it's not an official release, but as soon as I saw it, I thought I had to pick it up. So that was really good. And another one I picked up was this, which is Ashes, and it's Intergalactic Sonic 7s, which is basically a collection of all their singles and B-sides. So that was really nice. Another thing I picked up was this, which is Let It Blur. <clears throat> the life and times of Leicester Bangs. But when I turned it round, I don't know if you can see on the top, it says uncorrected proof copy, not for sale. So that was a nice find, that was only a pound as well, so that was good. It was nice. Now, one of the things about hate going to charity shops, and one I went into, they'd obviously got a new batch of albums and 12 inch singles in, and some plonker had written, sorry about this, over all the covers in biro or marker 99p instead of just putting it on the box they were all in all records in this box 99p they'd actually look you can see there and that's how big they did it and most of them this is actually on the back most of them they put it on the front cover so it was really frustrating so some nice 12 inch singles in there that I quite like the look of but didn't pick them, didn't want to pick them up. There's no way to get it off. It was either, like I say, Byro dug into the cover or marker pen. So really annoying, really stupid. I did tell him in the shop, I said, people aren't going to buy them if you're going to do that. It's right on the box. So hopefully next time. But anyway, this is a nice picker. This is Dion Warwick. Golden Hit Volume 2. I actually saw this in one shop. Wasn't sure whether to pick it up or not. I went into another shop up the road and they had volume one so uh, oh great both volumes so it's picked that up but like i say that pisses me off that's really annoying that but you know that's just one of those things there's <coughs> volume one and actually what's quite a nice sort of thing i don't know if you can see up there it basically it says mono red and the stereo in blue and then it's got blue and it's actually sort of part of the inner sleeve so it shows you whether it's a mono or stereo press and this is a stereo unfortunately the other cop volume 2 doesn't actually have has the hole but it doesn't have the right insert in it which is quite often away this one is actually one i bought off it was amazon or ebay i'm not sure but this is fish's first album now apart from obviously his connection with Marillion, i think one thing i like about fish and his albums and What's really good is the artwork, and you can see there it's really nice. When you open the gatefold sleeve, hopefully, you can see that and get an idea of the amount of work that <coughs> he obviously puts in. He works with an artist called Mark Wilkinson, and it's just really good artwork. If you go on his website, Fish's website at the moment, you can see on the He's working on a new album called Feast of Consequences and it shows you sort of the artwork that they're doing for that at the moment and it's excellent. They're going to be doing a, like a deluxe edition of it and it's going to have a hundred page hardback book 
uh, DVD, CD and DVD is one of the additions plus double vinyl so yeah really looking forward to that another one I bought picked up I couldn't resist as soon as I saw it Eye of the Tiger Survivor just brought me back to my childhood remembering Rocky watching it at the cinema and everything so yeah couldn't resist that the pound so actually I listened to it this morning that's really actually not bad so that was a good pickup another one again I couldn't resist as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it Blondie parallel lines covers a bit just wet worn and everything but the vinyl's fine inside so that was really nice to find that one Another one I found, I put, actually put this up on Facebook, was um, Tommy, the soundtrack. <coughs> so that was nice, and it's got all the original inserts inside, so, and it plays really well. So that was really nice. Again, a pound, double album, so really good, really pleased with the sort of charity shops at the moment. And the last one that I've got is this one, which is Howard Jones. And it's new song, 12 inch EP. And this is what I was talking about. No, wrong side, this side. This one is the Mighty 99p. Luckily, this is sealed. Okay, and it's not, not been opened, so completely sealed. But this is what was really annoying. Is this is what they did on all of them. They stuck 99p like that, Magic Marker or Biro on the front covers of all the things that were coming in. I like how Jones, I'm not, he's good, but when I saw it as a sealed copy, so if anybody's interested in this at all, please PM me, you know, I might be up for a send it to you, swap, trade or something, so please just let me know on that one. Uh, that was it, that's what I found today, I'd just like to sh uh, show a few other things, uh, I was watching Vine Long videos, sort of latest series he's been doing about cassettes and uh, have a few from sort of back in the day and I just thought I'd like to show them he was actually showing Adam the Ants he sort of said after seeing it on Facebook and a few people mentioned it he'd sort of got down the board in it and if I can find it because I haven't got it out somewhere excuse me there you go there's the cassette Adam the Ants that's really nice Another one that's really nice, look at that, is this, is the Special's first album. And actually what's really good about that is when you take the tape out, it's black on one side and white on the other. If you look at the side, look, it's actually black and white, half and half, which is obviously to do with their record label, Two Tone. So that's really nice. And I actually bought that when it came out in 1980, like 79, 80. I was like nine years old. So that's all the, the nice ones in there. And something else I said, well, message, I put a comment to Vinyl Video and said that if you enjoyed Adam and the Ants, to check out, I should have got this out before, sorry about this. Check out his first album, here you go, which is this Dirk Wears White Socks, which is. A really good album, completely different to Kings of the Wild Frontier. It's basically, I'm trying to get the reflection off, a completely different look. You can see the insert there. It's basically a completely different band playing on it. Obviously, Adamant is the same. I don't know if how many people know the story, but basically, Adam got involved with Malcolm McLaren um, and <coughs> he basically nicked his band and formed Bow Wow Wow with them. And obviously added the girl singer to him and left Adam Ant on his own. But this, so this is the band that went on to form Bow Wow Wow without Adam. And then Adam went on to meet up with Marco Prono, which is probably just as well for him. And obviously make Kings of Our Frontier and Prince Charming and the rest is history. And have a very successful career. So anyway, that's all my updates for today. Please comment, subscribe, like, just get in you know leave comments please it's, you know, i really like sort of talking to people about things and everything so thank you and goodbye